Mental health awareness is increasing, and our next story highlights just how important it is. The brain is the control center of the body, responsible for regulating all vital functions. Taking care of your brain health, as you do for other body parts, is crucial to slowing the aging process. We must learn how to train the brain to work for us, enabling us to meet our personal and professional goals. The brain is amazing. The brain's not fully developed until you're in mid to late 20s. The 30s are rocking, the 40s start to plateau, the 50s, and eh, maybe you start to have a little bit of cognitive impairment. The 60s, you start to have a little bit bigger issues. So as the brain ages, it changes. The brain has a philosophy, use it or lose it. And when you're not using those neural pathways, they just start to shut down. We don't think about our brain as being an organ, just like the heart. The largest organ we have is our skin. And as we age, because our skin mirrors our age, we spend a lot of time and a lot of attention to what we look like. The brain reflects your age as well. At the Brain Performance Center, we try to work on the conscious level with cognitive behavioral therapy. We also do some executive functioning coaching. And all of that's just thinking about what you remember, how you process information. And then we also work on the subconscious level. And that's how the brain is wiring and firing. And we do that with neurofeedback. We do that by creating neuroplasticity in the brain. We try to train the brain into a regulated state. I think most people can benefit from the services that we offer. We work with people that suffer from depression and anxiety and ADHD. And then you have people that just want to take their brain up a level and they want to improve their performance, whether that's at work or within their personal life with their relationships. Everybody's brain is going to get in a dysregulated state at some point in their life. Genetics, physical head trauma, emotional trauma, and stress. The good news is, is you can get that brain back into a regulated state. Many factors can affect brain health, including diet, exercise, sleep, stress, social connection, and mental stimulation. When you wake up, and you feel like you're in a brain fog and you just can't get the brain going. Or if you wake up and emotionally you feel fatigued or overwhelmed, you need to train that brain. Get that brain into that regulated state. There are four things that put a brain in a dysregulated state. One is genetics. Brain waves are just as genetic as the color of eyes you have. The second is physical head trauma. Anytime you hit your head, you change the way neurons and dendrites are wiring and firing. The third is emotional trauma, and I think we've all had it. The fourth is stress, and all of those things will put the brain in a dysregulated state. The first thing that we do is we see what is going on in the brain. We do a brain map. And once we have that information, we can determine what the best treatment is for people. Sometimes we'll use neuromodulation. Sometimes we'll create neuroplasticity in the brain. We'll identify the networks in the brain that are the most dysregulated and train those. Once we calm that brain down, we'll add in some cognitive behavioral therapy or some coaching to help people integrate the changes into their daily lives. We focus a lot on coaching for people that struggle with executive function, the way that their brain's working as they age. And it's interesting because as we age, our brain starts to process information differently. And maybe we find it harder to concentrate. Maybe we find it harder to pay attention. And we just need to understand what's going on in the brain, what's changed, and have our own strategies and our own coping skills. People will say that they have communication difficulties and everybody can communicate. It's just that everybody processes information differently. So the way it's received by a team member may be very different than the way it was sent. We've decided that not everybody can make it into the center and we've started some brain training online and that comes with some brain coaching. At the same time, a lot of people ask questions about supplements. So we wanna be able to give good recommendations that are based on science and nutrition. All of that is now available online as well as the counseling and the regular coaching. 
Overcoming the stigma of mental health and showing individuals respect and acceptance removes a significant barrier to successfully coping with their illness. I sought out Lee's services for our son, Lorenzo, who needed help in his recovery from the residual effects of the stroke caused by the meningitis when he was 16 years old. Lorenzo's progress with Lee's treatments was phenomenal. The technology has developed more sophisticated equipments and softwares that allow clinicians to study the deeper structures of the brain, the neural networks that are associated with brain disorders, and the different types of advanced treatments that can be used uh, for the brain to create positive changes and function at a normal level or at its peak performance. With Lee's mentorship, I was able to obtain board certification. She showed me how to do neurofeedback and taught me what I needed to know to become board certified. She gave me the courage to do it. Neurofeedback can be life-changing. You can take someone that has crippling depression and doesn't want to live, and all of a sudden, you know, they have the joie de vivre, you know, they want to live again. You have someone with crippling anxiety who doesn't want to leave the house, and now they can get in a car and drive again. The applications are limitless, from memory recall to processing faster to even help with dyslexia. Neurofeedback is truly life-changing. An EEG evaluation entails, first we take a measurement of your head, and then we record your brain waves, and then we process that data and make a customized protocol for you. Neurofeedback helps to take people from a dysregulated state to a regulated state. And so maybe there is a task that was so insurmountable that one day it was so daunting and then you couldn't do it. And then after a few rounds of neurofeedback, now you can and you get your power back. Are you ready to get results and live the life of your dreams? I think about the brain every day, and I think about by the year 2030, the World Health Organization says that brain-related diseases will be the biggest source of disability, and that's globally. I encourage people to take care of their brain just like they would their heart, and it's not that hard to do. We can help you do that. We can give you strategies. We can give you ideas that will get your brain in the state that you want it to be in. What excites me about the future and brain health is the recognition that we're all paying to the brain. We know how important the brain is, and what we don't know is that we are in charge and we can create the change we need. To start building your confidence today, visit the website at thebrainperformancecenter.com or see the segment again on thebalancingact.com.